Welcome back to Watch It Played. My name is Rodney Smith. I'm Christy Smith. And we are continuing What's My Word. Um, mm. I'm starting to get a little better, actually, feeling a little healthier. Uh, and Christy is starting to get a little sicker. I might be feeling a little better than last night. Okay. Yeah, we're but, good. Yeah, all right. Well, you're ready to go then? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. I'm going to guess my first word. This one's coming from Mayersification, I believe is the pronunciation. And he wants me to guess the word omen. And this got the most votes to anyone, so a lot of you want me to guess this word. Omen. O M E N. Okay, 2,250 points. Okay, that sounds like we're off to a pretty good start. Let's see what it means. Okay, now this is actually interesting because with this score, it means I got three of these letters right. And I already used three of these letters up here, and I didn't get three of them right. So that means that one of the three that are right has to be this N. But it can't be in the right place. Um, so I'm just going to put a little dot there, and I'm going to indicate that N can't be in the one, two, three, four, the fifth position by crossing it off over here, like so. And that also means that two of these letters, O, M, and E, must be in her word. And if two of them are in her word, then D can't be in her word. So I'm going to cross D off here. Because if two of these were in the word and D was also in the word, then again, I would have gotten more points on this score. Okay, are you ready for my word? I sure am. Okay, my word is pout. P-O-U-T. All right, pout. Well, I don't think you'll be pouting from this. 1,250 points. Oh. What, you wanted more? No, if I had gotten zero points, it really would have helped me figure out which yeah. letters I've been getting points off of. It's so tricky, isn't I it? Gotta, I gotta think a little <laughs> bit before I guess my next Sometimes word. Sometimes getting one word of zero is good because it just helps you eliminate things yeah, and then you can yeah. start messing around. Oh yeah. well. So my next word is also coming from mayorsification. It's the word meat. M-E-A-T. Meat. Okay. How many points do I get for that? 2,000 points. 2,000 points. All right, we're getting somewhere, racking up points and learning things. I like it. Do you like it? Yeah, I, I need a minute here. <laughs> okay. One of the things I didn't do before, and I should have, was cross off the D. I have done that here in my guide. But now let's look at this. We've gotten meat and gotten 2,000 points, and this makes things a little bit tricky. Because if M and E were what was giving me the 2,000 points, that'd be great, because then I could cross out A and T, and I could cross out A and T up here, and then I would know that R was the right letter, and that would be very useful. But I can't assume that M and E are the right letters in the right place, because it's possible up here that it was O and E that were the right letters in the right place. In which case, down here, that would mean M is giving me zero, E is giving me a thousand points, and then either A or T are now the right letters in the right place, also giving me a thousand points. So I can't eliminate um, any of either O, M, or E at this point, unfortunately. My next word is going to be runs, R-U-N-S. Okay. Well, I can only give you 250 points for that. I know you wanted zero, so we're getting closer. Okay, this round has been tricky. Um, I think for both of us. Has it been tricky for you a little bit? Well, I would really like to guess a word that helps me figure out what the first three, why I scored the way I did the first three words. Right. You know, if you can figure that out and have two or three letters that you know for sure are in the word, it really helps your scoring further down. Yeah. And you probably feel like you have some time to be a little bit cautious and figure that out, right? Given your lead right now overall I, in the game. Yeah, it, yeah. It's about three words from now, that's when it gets tough. I feel like I've got to make a choice that probably is not going to get me a lot of points, but I'm really hoping it gives me a lot of information. And that's I feel risky doing that because I'm so far behind. Everything I do has to give me a lot of points if I hope to catch up. Yeah. So hopefully this is going to, this guess is hopefully going to, you know, give me no points and a whole lot of information so that moving forward I can then make a whole bunch of points. But we Yeah, if we'll you see. can figure out the letters yeah. and then you have a little bit of online help, you can devise words that will yeah. score a lot. Yeah. Well let's let's find out. Um, okay. 
We're ready. My guess is going to be Toad. T O A D. Toad. Okay. You get 500 points. Really? Okay. So you have to go back and think about what that means. I really am. So in guessing Toad, my hope was that I could uh, get zero. Um, I was operating under the assumption that M and E and R were hopefully right, and that N, of course, is also right as well. Now, I knew I couldn't make up a word that used all four of those letters because, well, there isn't a word <laughs> that uses all four of those letters. But if those ones were right, it would mean that certain ones had to be wrong, like A, T, uh, and O. And so if I made a word using letters that I assumed were then wrong and I got zero, well, then I could confirm some things. So anyway, not to twist you up on, on all the logic there, but instead, I actually got 500 points. So what does that mean? Well, first off, I know that D is not in the word, so I can cross that one out. And I know that the 500 points can't be both coming from T and A because I already determined up here that T and A can't be in a word together. So that means that either T and O are right and either A and O is right. So <laughs> in both of those situations, O has to be one of the right letters. And if O is one of the right letters but not in the right place, that means that up here, O has to be a right letter in the right place because I got 2,000 points and that means this couldn't have been the right letter in the wrong place or I would have only gotten 250 points for it. So this is actually kind of helpful here. And that of course also means that this O is right and I can go ahead and put O up here and then over on my guide over here I can say that the O is definitely uh, correct in this position here meaning that all of these letters can't be in the second position. So this, this, is, this is helping us out a, a little bit for sure. And that tells me something else that's useful. That means up here, the other thousand points is coming from either the M or the E. They both can't be in the word and one of them is definitely in the right place. And that means down here, that must also be true. It can't be both M and E that are giving me the 2,000 points. Only one of them is. That means either A or T are actually the right letter in the right place. So going over what we know, we can say for sure that O is definitely in her word here. We know that M or E is certainly in her word in either this position or this position. And A or T is in her word for sure, either here or here. So moving on to this guess, when we guess this word here, Maybe we can determine one of those things, but we also have to remember, we have to be careful not to get too focused in on just, you know, one or two letters because we still have several other letters that we have to figure out. But of course, we do need those points as well if we're hoping to catch up. It's still going to be very hard to win, but at least we're getting ahead rather than falling farther behind. Okay, you ready for my word? I am ready for your word. Okay, so my strategy here is I'm trying to get zero okay. points so that I can figure out what my other guesses mean. All right. So I'm just changing one letter with this word. It's going to be puns. P-U-N-S. P-U-N-S. Come on, I'm hoping for zero. Well, I'm not giving you zero, but I think you're still going to be happy. I'm giving you a thousand points. Oh. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> we can stop here. Christy can think about what that's going to mean between now and the next episode. But during that time, I need you guys to help me out because I don't feel like I'm in quite as good a position as I was hoping to be after that last guess of Toad. I'm puzzled. You're puzzled and I'm just... This game is worse than chess to me sometimes. I feel like I'm, I really don't know exactly. You get to that point where you're like, I don't quite know. I'm close, but not close enough. And what makes this even harder is in our next round, we're going up to five letter words. So if we want to test out some of the information we already know... We're either going to have to start doubling up on some of our letters or, you know, who knows what. Mm. Anyway, I'll give you guys a shot of what my board looks like uh, at this point in time. And you can let me know what you think we should do. And I'll pick the one that gets the most votes. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you in the next episode. Okay, bye.